viewers, this is Sinter Michael from Screw Your Views, bringing you a new podcast on my segment called The Super Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to breach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, and I'll, of course, any audio feedback as well. So, basically, and finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will have some adult language. Once again, this audio podcast recording will have some adult language if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, then you should be able to watch this audio podcast recording. So, anyway, before I begin, I like to say, you know, if you're wondering what's that noise in the background, I just got a new... I just got a new fan, so basically my air conditioner broke down on me, so basically if you're wondering what's that, that little humming sound in the background, that's just my fan, because my air conditioner broke, you know, broke down on me, so I've got a fan instead, so basically if you're wondering what's that noise in the background, that's just my fan. So anyway, let's get into the latest episode of the two, of the, uh, 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 uh,
who, who who helped them make the rainbow with the help of Mother Rex, which which walked in the sky. So basically, out of nowhere, this this ship this this ship dinosaur monster appeared out of nowhere and go, and and trapped Moses Service Rex in and trapped Moses Service Rex in in a giant net and they offered Moses to the Service Rex. And so, and so basically once the Montessori ship monster trapped Moses to the Service Rex in, 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 in a, a giant net, you know, watch in the Moses Service to, uh, I mean, sorry, blah, blah, blah. So basically, watch once the Montessori monster, I mean, once the Montessori ship monster trapped Moses to the Service Rex in a giant net, him and watch may offer Moses to the Service Rex. So basically, the boys like you know what the hell we were wondering. We you know I didn't get a picture of the rainbow, but what the well, it looks like he got your dinosaur prey. So anyway, so anyway, you know, can I went to go tell the others that you know went to, went back to Wee's father's lab that you know went back to Wee's father's lab to tell tell the others that Moses so his Rex was the got captured by war. So anyway, so anyway, so anyway, meanwhile, it's somewhere, somewhere in a small little pond, Moses Service Rex was trapped in the small pond, in the, in the net by the Moses, um, so basically, somewhere, somewhere else in this, somewhere else in, somewhere else, we see Moses Service Rex trapped in a small pond in the net and Walt is trying to hypnotize Moses O's Rex. So anyway, so basically like the Walt is trying to use some type of method to hypnotize from Moses O's Rex. That way, that way Moses O's Rex can do, do Walt's evil bidding. So basically it seems like his hypnotizing method is seen to be working on Moses O's Rex. So anyway, back at we father's lab, you know, you know, Melt saying that you know Watch might try to hypnotize Moses so it's Rex. So basically, so basically, like you know, we need to find Moses so it's Rex quick. So basically, like you know, you know, so so basically, like Canal said that will never happen. Watch cannot hypnotize you know, Moses so it's Rex, and and that's when we fathers no, uh, that's the noble, aka uh, that's the noble we fathers tell us that people uh, that. People with strong wills are the most easy to be hypnotized. So basically, Mel says that we need to find, we need to find where, where what is holding most of his wreck. So basically, and that's where we came in, and, and she said that, oh, so this is where the port of, uh, uh, port of the, Based on the put of you know of juggernaut activity in a small in a small beach town, it turns out that it turns out that it turns out that it turns out that, you know, that Tara and Bam were were, were in the small beach towns where 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 Watch was holding Moses on his wreck. So basically. So, so basically, like, you know, we see Tara and Bam, like, you know, like, you know, at the small beach town, like, you know, like, you know, looking around, looking around, like, you know, looking around the town, like, you know, it looks like they were taking a break or something like that. So basically, they saw a couple of dreadnoughts, foot choices with a bucket of fish, you know, so basically, Tom and Ben saw a couple of jet not foot choices for a couple of fish who go you know, taking them somewhere and taking the fucking fish somewhere, and that's when the the shit monster monster attack attacked the people on the beach. So basically, Tom and Ben went to deal with the most. So basically, so basically. So basically, so basically, Tom and Ben went to go deal with the monster monster. So basically, you know, and so with their best efforts, you know, they managed to get the upper hand against the monster monster. But the monster monster did some, you know, unleashed some some weird fog that made everybody on the beach sick, except to them because they were in their rainforest. So basically, the monster monster ended up escaping everybody who got affected. By the monitor monster, uh, by the monitor ship monster, went or, or ended up in the hospital. So basically, Tom and Ben went to the hospital to see uh, see how bad uh, how bad the people w w w how bad the people were uh, that got hit by the monitor ship monster. Uh, uh, at the hospital, they saw a 
the others joined him at the hospital. So basically, they tell him that, you know, oh, so basically, the others tell him that, that Warps had, had most of his and, and they might be planning to hypnotize him and try to use him against them. So basically, for, like, you know, explain the situation to Bam and Tara. So basically, it turns out the boy that, uh, that Canal met earlier was also at the hospital. So basically, so basically, Canal asked for what you do at the hospital. He said, my teacher felt ill. Uh, uh, a few days ago, my teacher felt ill. So basically, like, you know, so basically, I uh, mean, so basically, she wanted to see Rainbow. So basically, that's the reason why Kato and Kento is so hot, so hot, you know, but that's the reason why Kento wants to take a picture of a rainbow because to, to help cheer up his sick, his, his sick teacher, who is a, uh, who is a woman. So basically, blah, blah, blah. So that's the sound of tongue tie. So anyway, the boy Kento wanted to take a picture of, of a rainbow that way, um, that way, uh, for his, uh, for his, for his sick teacher who's in who's in who's in the hospital. So basically, so basically, so basically, like you know, so basically, that's when the others figured that the monitor monster must came to the boy's sick, you know, sick sick teacher. So basically, they figured out that the monster monster must have came to from the boy's sick. Teacher. So anyway, so the so the uh, Kento show, uh, showed them a picture of of the of his t uh, of his teacher, and she was a hot, uh, and she was uh, turned out she's a very hot teacher. So basically, Kento showed the showed the showed the researcher a picture of 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 her of his teacher, and like you know, and she was a very hot. So basically, well, you know, you know, can I figure that? Oh, maybe I can. Be, I had to be my wife. Uh, oh, wow. While everybody was was amazed at how hot she was, bam, bam, she was like, bam, after staring at the teacher, she was like, bam, knows, knows, knows who she is. So basically, after staring at the picture for like a minute, bam, bam, face is like, you know, bam, face like, you know, I, I know this person. So anyway, so basically, so basically, like, you know, bam said, I'll go, I'll go with Canal to, to, to try to feed most of his facts while you guys find the monster monster and destroy it. So anyway, so anyway, they so they split up into two groups. So basically, Cal and Dan went to go go, go free most of his facts while while Cole and the others while Cole and the others went to go to, to you know take down the monster monster. So anyway, so anyway, you know, so, so anyway, you know, ba so basically, Dan and, and Canal showed up where where Watch was holding most of his facts. So basically, seems like seems like Watch is. Yeah. Seems like more. Uh, seems like more. Uh, seems like more. Check that. Mm. Ah, sorry. I'm a little tongue tied today. So anyway, turns out that uh, turns out that more to hit that. Hit no trick. Work a work from most of the rats and and so so basically and so by the but so basically turns out that turns out that work hypnotic hit hit the kitchen work uh, work so much of us. Um, uh, turns out that, uh, turns out that, what is hypnotizing work, uh, work from Moses or his wreck. So basically, Moses or his wreck send the bam and canal flying in, uh, send, you know, send bam and canal flying up the, up the stream, and up the stream. So basically, Moses, uh, hypnotized Moses or his wreck send bam and canal flying upstream and whatnot. And they let it upstream somewhere. Uh, somewhere in the pond. So anyway, mm -hmm. it turns out, turns out that, it turns out that, you know, well, you know, most of the service contacted Canal, it turns out that most of the service was not hypnotized by Warp. So basically, he was just pretending, trying to buy time for, 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 for him and the others to, 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 to try to free him from the net. So basically, that most of the service was not 
was not was not hypnotized by what he was just pretending. So basically, he was just trying to buy time for for Kanan and the others to figure out to have, you know to figure out how to free him from that net. So basically, so Biggie Ben said, I'm gonna, uh, you go do what works, I'll go get some help. So meanwhile, back on the beach, back on the beach, you know, Cohen others were fighting the Monster Monster, and the, and the Monster Monster had the upper hand, and that's when, that's when Trent Amigo showed up, and, 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 and the human side, so basically Trent Amigo showed up, you know, he was and, and managed to save the others from, from the minus four shit monster attack. But, Bruto, Bruto turned the Negro got stuck in the sand. So, basically, the Michael monster had the upper hand once again, you know, even after, even after, even after turned the Negro showed up and saved them from, uh, from the minus four, from the minus four shit monster. So, anyway, so, anyway, Canal went back, to, and went back Back to uh, and went back to where Watch was holding most of those rats, and and Canal started to fight, and started to fight, you know, and started to fight you, and started to fight Watch, and that's when, and that's when Bam showed up with Dicano, and and then working together, they managed to free most of those rats. It turns out that turns out that you know turns out that most of those rats and Dicano are brothers, are brothers. So basically, back to back then, you know, turns out that. That Moses so Rex and Dicano are brothers. So basically that so basically, you know, you know, Dicano was happy to see Moses so Rex again. And that's when and that's when what just uh, that's when what pointed out that oh, you may you may for you may free you may free Moses so Rex and that, but you know, since Moses so Rex is on land now, he can't move uh, water. So basically that's when Dicano said you were wrong about that and that's when and that's the multiple effects and and Dicano combined together and formed Spinal Thunder, a a hybrid dinosaur uh, that that combined together with. So basically, it turns out that multiple effects, uh, I mean multiple effects and Dicano by can't combine together and throw a spinosaurus dinosaur that shoot lightning. So basically, so basically they shot lightning at Ross, but Ross meant to get away. It's a, you know, meant to get away before, uh, for, uh, before the lightning attack hit him. So basically, Ross meant to escape. So meanwhile, meanwhile, back on the beach, you know, the others meant to see Tyne Amigo from the sand, and, and that's when the monster monster meant to grow monster size. So, they, so basically, they formed the Tiger Lance Dynamite Negasaur, but turns out that, uh, turns out that China Migo, uh, China Migo had, had a lot of sand in his joint, he couldn't move properly. So basically, so basically, the sand that, so basically, it turns out that John Amigo was stuck in the sand, he got sand in his joints, so basically, he couldn't move properly, so basically, in, in Megasaur mode, so basically, the monster had the upper hand until the other showed up, which, which until the other showed up and get, gave, and get, and gave the Tiger Lance Dynamite Negasaur the, uh, you know, the opportunity to finish off the, the monster monster. The, the 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 shit monster monster. So basically, with the help of the combined powers of of Mosasaurus Rex and Dicano, you know, lightning powers, they managed to they managed to help the the Dynamite Negasaur to destroy the the the. the so, I don't know what tongue tied today. So basically, with the help of the the combined powers of uh, uh, Moses and Zack and Dicano, they managed to help, uh, you know, managed to get the get the Tiger Lance to Dynamite Niggas or the upper hand, the upper hand against the battle ship, against the ship, against the ship Monster Monster, and and the Niggas managed to destroy the destroy the ship Monster Monster. So anyway. 
And so anyway, it, and so anyway, the monitor monster was destroyed, and the day was shit. So basically, so basically, they went back to the hospital to make sure that the teacher was okay after the after after her monitor monster was destroyed. So anyway, the boy said that you know I still didn't have a picture of uh, I still didn't get uh, get a picture of a rainbow for my teacher. So basically, so basically, you know. A rainbow, a head of rainbow seashell that, a uh, weird rainbow seashell. She said that, you know, don't worry about this. I think this rainbow seashell will do. Turns out that, bam! Turns out that, the, turns out that, bam, that's the, the teacher. Turns out 50 years ago, the, the Kanto's teacher was Ben's girlfriend, was Ben, was, was Ben girlfriend 50 years ago. So basically, it turns out the teacher is not, it's a, it's not a young hot you turns out that you know turns out the teacher is actually in her in her in her fifties. So basically that you know turns out the teacher's in her fifties. She's she's an old teacher. Turns out that the boy had a old, old picture of her teacher back back when she was a young woman. So basically so I was kind of disappointed that you know you know, uh, that you know that she, that kid's of teacher was uh, was a uh, was a uh, was a old woman. So anyway so so anyway Dan so basically Dan gave her so basically Dan gave her Dan you know Ben gave gave her the teacher that he that she gave him fifty years ago. So basically the teacher said like you 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 look like my ex boyfriend fifty years ago. So basically like he looked just like my ex boyfriend. So basically but you know but you can't but you might be his uh, he might be his son, so basically, like you know, Ben was like, mm, you could say that. So anyway, so anyway, like everyone was. So anyway, while they was leaving the beach town, like everyone was shocked that you know, why didn't you tell us that 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 the teacher that Kate's teacher was your ex girlfriend from 50 years ago? So basically, like you know. And you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, it was a private matter. So basically, like you know, they got on bad case, you know, and the, and the, and the episode ended with the others, you know, you know living together, living the beach town together as a team. So basically, this is how the episode ended with all all six resources living the beach town as a team, and this is how the episode ended. So basically, this episode was not bad. This was a good episode. We thought not. Only we got more details on Bam's you know, about Bam's uh, on Bam's on Bam's life, you know. We got more details on Bam and, and also Moses Sir's life and Dicano as well. So basically, we got more information about Dicano and and Moses Sir's life being brothers, and also we got more we got more we got more it, it, we got more details uh, uh, we got more information about Bam as well. So basically, this was a good episode. So anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it just okay? Please let me know in the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, this is Cynthia Michael from Screw TV, signing off. One.